Hi there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out the UK, um, around the world. And yes, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, share, like. Um, yeah, this I don't know if this um, topic has been covered. It probably has. But I thought I'd cover it because I thought, even though it happened last month, I think it was only recently, this month, that Acacia Green got awarded £1.2 now, we have this rumour about, you know, you can't trust Jamaica and you give them money, you're not going to get it back and all of this. And, you know, there's good and bad in everyone. Just because you have situations where some people are not reliable, um, it doesn't mean that everybody's the same. So Acacia Green, she's a really, really good example of an honest Jamaican woman, young woman at that. She's only 24 years old. She has two boys, one 10 and one 2. And what happened was, is that she was going to the ATM machine, she sees this big wad of money in a bag, millions and millions of dollars, and what does she do? She looks into it, she goes, oh, I'm going to take it to the police station. So she takes it to the police station, and she goes back, and she must, you know, like how you would, oh, mum, I found this big wad of money, and I took it to the police station. And I'm on cussed, and say, what do you mean you take it to the police station, man? And you're so desperate, it's only this morning you asked me for $200. And you take all that money to the police station. You're an idiot, girl. All the friends are on the bandwagon. She's an idiot, fool, and all that kind of stuff. But the thing is, I can understand because I remember when I was about 10 or 11, my brother and I, we went to Gladstone Park, which is in Cricklewood, which is in London. And we found this big um, case of jewellery. And me and my brother didn't know what to do with it. So we said, let's take it to the police. We'll probably get a reward. Well, we took it to the police. We didn't hear nothing. Not even a letter of thanks. Nothing. So, you know, it's not all the time that you, you give something and you, you're honest that it's going to pay off. So in this particular situation now, with Acacia Green, she's only 24, quite vulnerable, susceptible, especially since just a couple of months before, her uh, boyfriend's house had burnt down. All the children's clothes, everything. She didn't even have a fridge. Even if she dip into the money and take a, like a hundred, you know, a couple of million out of it and say, okay, me just like a, take this and take the rest back. Because that's what, that's what some people would do, wouldn't they? Just take out a little few dollars and say, yeah, that can tide me over because I'm going through rough times. And take the rest and give it back to the old bill. Give it back to the police station. Anyway, not her. She takes the whole of it and takes it to the police station. And then now she's been awarded $1.2 as a reward. Now, that's not in cash. So it's not as if she's... Being, it's not like she's, oh, she's a Jamaican millionaire. Because when you compare the conversion rate to the UK, it's not much. I think it's just under 7,000. 1.2 million Jamaican dollars, I think it's just under 7,000 pounds. So it's not much. And then they're telling her what she must do with the money. I think with somebody so young, I mean, if they gave her the money, cash, she might blow it. So there is that. So, um, so what they're doing is one million of it is going to go into uh, an education program for her and her two boys to get her into a system. I mean, that's only, how much is that for, they're going to put aside for that? £6,000. I don't know how far that goes in Jamaica. Hopefully it goes quite a while, but I would have thought she should have at least got £5 million for returning all those millions. Nobody wants to say how many millions was in the bag. But five million, I think that could have set her in good stead to even maybe go as far as a PhD. Well, not maybe a PhD, but it may be even a PhD if she wanted to go that far. And the boys to be able to go up to a certain level to university. I don't see how 6,000 can do that. But anyway, maybe I don't know how the Jamaican education system works. Maybe 6,000 is enough. I know over in the UK, it wouldn't go anywhere. But so maybe it probably go on one program. So maybe in Jamaica, the education system is different and it will take her through the whole education process. I'm just trying to 
um, make you aware of the conversion. Um, when you look at it from that perspective, it's not a great deal of money. So it's not like she's got this big wad of money and she and she's now a millionaireess. She's not. A um, hundred thousand of that money is to go towards food food vouchers. Hundred thousand equates to about sixty seven six hundred and seven pounds. So I think that would probably go a little way. I know six hundred and seven thousand in the UK. That would that would last me a little while, maybe up to maybe about six seven months, if you're not being too extravagant. So that could maybe get her food for about a year. So that's good. Um, also, a hundred thousand for entrepreneurial venture. I understand she wants to do go into uh, opening a shop with clothes and stuff. So it is good. I mean, to be honest, I mean, when they're cussing her and telling her that she shouldn't have taken the money back, you don't know who that money belongs to. I mean, she didn't know it was the security guards who were supposed to replenish the ATM machines who had left it there. They must have got um, sidetracked or distracted or something, just left a big wad of money. So she wouldn't know that. She doesn't know if it belongs to gang members or, you know... She doesn't know. She doesn't know if the money is marked. Can you imagine taking that money home when you don't have a dime, you don't even have a job, and you have two children, and yet you come with this big wad of money? People are going to start asking questions. You're going to get people targeting you. Is it worth it? I don't think it's worth it, honestly. I really don't. Because every minute she'll be looking over her shoulder and wondering whose money it is. Is it somebody who's just come out of prison? Is it a mass murderer? Is it a payment for drugs? She doesn't know. At least now, even with the 1.2 million, it might not be that much, but it gives her peace of mind. And even though she's not allowed, if she, she's been told what to do with it, I know if I got awarded 1.2 million, it's like, pff, you're not bloody telling me what to do with it. I'll do whatever I want to do with it. That's what, That would be my attitude. I don't think I'd want to be awarded 1.2 million and they're telling me I've got to go to school or education, even though it's good for me. And it's going to go on a venture and it's going to go on food. But I think that's good because that's discipline and it means it's safe. It means that nobody can kind of jump on her, try to scam her or try to take advantage of her situation. So it's good. I like the way they've done that. This is Ray and Nephew. Ray and Nephew are the one who rewarded her that. And you know you know what they say in Matthew. To those who have even, even they'll be awarded more then, or words to that effect. I think it's Matthew 13. But yeah, so not only has she got the 1.2 million from them, um, did you sell? Um, given her a new phone, given her a pho couple of phone cards, and given her a service. Um, Sarah's children have given her a thousand dollars. I think that works out to sixty-seven pounds. I think I wrote it here somewhere. But yeah, like I said, I'm just trying to put it into perspective. It's not to minimise it at all. I know it works out to six pounds. So that, um, Sarah's children, that's Montego Bay based charity, gave her a thousand dollars, Jamaican dollars. I can't believe that's only six pounds though. It's ridiculous if it's only six pounds. But yeah, um, Douglas Halsall, um, he secured 44,650 in cash um, for her and opened up a bank account with 20,000. Now 20,000, if that was 20,000 quid, We'd be laughing, but 20,000 in Jamaican dollars is just 120 pounds. So once again, we need to put it in perspective. Um, the Heart and Trust training program are offering her two mo modules for free. Now, I don't know if she wants to go into that area. It just seems a bit strange if she hasn't shown an interest in that area. From what I understand is that she did do caring and domestic work but she really is into clothes so I'm not quite sure how that will help her and she's going to do two models two modules for free unless it's something to fall back on I mean any education that you get you might you can always fall back on it so I guess it is still good um she's being given a refrigerator which must be wonderful she didn't have one before so yeah um I think 
that's about it. Yeah. Any comments? You're welcome to leave them underneath the bottom. And I'll put the link in to where I found it. And like I said, it did happen in May last month. Last, yeah, last, last month. But I think she was just awarded the cheque uh, a few days ago. And that's all for now.